Hey, good morning. We are looking at our acids and bases in a little more detail today. I uh, apologize, I'm not in. We got a sick kiddo today. Anyway, uh, acids and bases, we know an acid is an acid because it starts with an H. We know base is a base because it's got that OH. And we know already about how they start to come together and start to react. Our acids will react with metals, carbonates, and bases. Bases will react to neutralize our acids. But we do know a little bit more. We can start to think about the properties that these different chemicals will exhibit and what to kind of look for in the lab when we start to try to identify these acids and bases, because typically they're just a colorless liquid. And so we can't, by usually visual inspection, tell what they are. But there are some properties we can look for. And so as we start thinking about our acids, here are our properties of our acids. Acids have a sour taste. And we're actually going to explore that a little bit more coming up in a, another lab uh, where we're going to actually eat some acids. But they are sour. We know we eat some of these acids. We've got citric acid is kind of the classic example. Um, but they've got a sour taste, kind of pucker power when we actually ingest them because a lot of them are, are organic when we eat them. They are corrosive. They will kind of corrode our metals and our different materials. They are caustic, which means they will corrode the human skin. So they, as they react, they will start kind of breaking down and, and uh, uh, destroying these different materials. They have a low pH. And we're going to talk more about pH in greater depth and how we get that number. And you've probably heard this pH before. pH stands for Perivou de Hydrogen. It's French for powers of hydrogen. Don't worry about it. It's just a scale. It lets us compare how acidic one thing is versus something else. And we'll talk about the math later. But it, we, what we say is if its pH is low, if it's less than seven on the pH scale, that that is an acidic substance. Seven being neutral water. It's kind of the midpoint of our chart or table. Uh, they are colorless and phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein, excuse me, is one of our organic indicators. It will act, we've actually seen this before. Uh, this is the one that was colorless or kind of had that white color in an acid, and it actually changes color to a different color when it's a base. I think we saw this when we were looking at our chemical and physical changes. Uh, another indicator we can use is called litmus paper. It's just a little strip of paper. Um, if you've ever worked at a pool and you've ever or been at a pool and they're testing the pH of the water, they'll fill a little chamber and they'll put the paper in there. Shake, 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 shake. And that's another way we can test for the acidity of a solution is what's called litmus paper. It's kind of like test strips, test strips of paper. Uh, for our bases then, they have more of a bitter taste, kind of like, think like almonds or coffee. Coffee's a little acidic, but kind of that bitter taste uh, when we think about how, or if you've ever, hopefully this never happened, hopefully, um, if you've ever had to have your mouth hit with a little bit of soap to clean out your mouth, uh, soaps are very much bases. So that kind of bitter kind of uh, nasty residue is a basic property. Uh, we mentioned this in class earlier, uh, bases are actually more quickly to react with your skin than our acids. They are also corrosive. They will eat things. They're also caustic. They will do damage to your skin. Um, they're actually faster because you're made up of fatty acids and the bases go a little bit quicker. Uh, they have a higher pH. So we're for higher than seven on the pH scale. We say that it is a basic solution or al sometimes you're alkaline. It's an alkaline solution. So a high pH tells us that it's a base. And we can test for that pH using, again, phenolphthalein. We said it was colorless in an acid in a base. It goes this lovely kind of magenta, purpley color, purpley, purpley red color. Um, it goes magenta in a base. And hopefully that is reminiscent when you think back to that lab as a little spot plate, drip, 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 drip. Bright purple, drip, 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 drip. kind of went colorless white. That's phenolphthalein. Uh, it will turn litmus paper blue. And this is kind of general rule, B, 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 blue for bases and red for acids as they're corrosive and will react with your skin. Cool, armed with this, we should be able to start thinking about what we're gonna see in the lab. Uh, take some time to complete your note summary on page 33, now that you've collected these notes. Uh, and then we are working on our pre-lab in preparation for our Colors of My World lab.